Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will solve an isoradical equation which is x root of 36 plus x root of 24 is equal to x root of 16. And we will solve this equation for x. First of all, it is given that x root of 36 plus x root of 24 is equal to x root of 16. We will divide whole equation with x root of 36. So, it will be cancelled out and it will become 1 plus, it can be written as x root of 24 divided by 36 is equal to similarly it can be written as x root of 16 divided by 36 okay 1 plus x root of 24 can be written as 12 times 2 and 36 can be written as 12 times 3 similarly 16 can be written as 4 times 4 and 36 can be written as 4 times 9 so, this 12 and 12, 4 and 4 will be cancelled out and it will become 1 plus x root of 2 divided by 3 is equal to x root of 4 divided by 9. 4 can be written as 2 square divided by 3 can be written as 3 square. And we know that a to the power n divided by b to the power n is equal to a divided by b whole power n. So, it will become 2 divided by 3 and its whole square. 1 plus x root of 2 divided by 3 is equal to x root of 2 divided by 3 square. Okay, we know that m root of n is equal to n to the power 1 divided by m. So, it will become 1 plus 2 divided by 3 to the power 1 divided by x is equal to 2 divided by 3 squared and its power 1 divided by x. Here we will use this exponential rule which is a to the power m whole power n is equal to a to the power n whole power m. So it will become 1 plus 2 divided by 3 to the power 1 divided by x is equal to 2 divided by 3 to the power 1 divided by x and its square. Okay, here we have 2 divided by 3 to the power 1 divided by x and here we have also a 2 divided by 3 to the power 1 divided by x. So, I will make here a substitution which is, I will let that u is equal to 2 divided by 3 to the power 1 divided by x. So, our above equation will become 1 plus u is equal to u squared. Now, I will take this 1 plus u to the right hand side. So, it will become u squared minus u minus 1 and this side will be equal to 0. And it can also be written as u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, it is a quadratic equation. So, we will apply here quadratic formula which is u is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. According to this equation, a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1 and c is also equal to minus 1. So, it will become u is equal to minus times minus 1 will be plus 1 plus minus square root of b squared minus 1 squared will be 1 
minus 4 times 1 will be 1 and 4 minus 4 times minus 1 will become plus 4 divided by 2a so 2 times 1 will be 2 okay u will be equal to 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2 here we have two values of u 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 okay u is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and u is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so this is the negative value so we will not choose this value so we will reject this solution and continue with the value of u which is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 okay if we recall that u is equal to 2 divided by 3 to the power 1 divided by x so it will become 2 divided by 3 to the power 1 divided by x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 okay now we will apply log on both sides so it will become log of 2 divided by 3 to the power 1 divided by x is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 okay we know that log of a to the power n is equal to n log of a so it will become 1 divided by x log of 2 divided by 3 is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 now dividing log of 2 divided by 3 on both sides so it will be cancelled out and it will become 1 divided by x is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 divided by log of 2 divided by 3 now we will do here cross multiplication so it will become x times log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 is equal to 1 times log of 2 divided by 3 will be log of 2 divided by 3 to find the value of x, we will divide log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 on both sides. Log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So it will be cancelled out and the value of x will be log of 2 divided by 3 divided by log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and also we know that log of m divided by n is equal to log of m minus log of n so it will become log of 2 minus log of 3 divided by same rule of logarithm we will apply here so it will become log of 1 plus square root of 5 minus log of 2 so x will be equal to log of 2 is 0 0.3010 minus log of 3 is equal to 0 0.4771 divided by log of 1 plus square root of 5 is equal to 0 0.510 minus 
log of 2 is same 0 0.3010. x will be equal to 0 0.3010 minus 0 0.4771 will be equal to minus 0 0.17 divided by 0 0.21 so the approximate value of x will be equal to minus 0 0.843 Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye-bye.